guys in this video you will see what is the top 10 best ground unit in this update 15.5 every units in this video are all obtainable and not from training i do want to know what you guys think is the best ground unit in this update 15.5 remember to subscribe and like and with that being said let's go in no particular order the first unit is skull knight king skull knight king is one of the most strongest ground units among ground units Sheesh. <laughs> skull knight king stats are max upgrade and max level r 283,485.2 damage with his spa at 6.5 seconds making his damage per second at 43,613.11 which is extremely overpowered for a ground unit especially his aoe is a circle which will be great against armored enemies you can only place two skull knight king making unique trait the best trait you can have on skull knight king how to get skull knight is by defeating the new secret king portal the eclipse the wings of darkness which you can get through the normal eclipse portal and how to get the normal eclipse portal is through the win him infinite mode which is the newest map sheesh all right the next unit is roger pirate king Roger is one of the newest units added in this update 15.5 and he is currently the best ground unit with his strong passive and Roger being the best ground DPS in this update 15.5. Roger Pirate King stats are max upgrade and max LR, 298,614 damage with his SPA at 5 seconds making his damage per second at 59,722.8 oh my goodness which is insanely strong especially roger is the current best ground damage per second in this update 15.5 what makes roger extremely strong is that placement you will be able to stun ground enemies for a few seconds and how to get roger pirate king is through opening the brand new summer 2023 stars where there is a tiny tiny chance for you for the capsules and yeah, for the capsules to drop roger so good luck to everyone who is trying to get roger pirate king roger pirate king's damage types are physical and fire okay next unit is god's berserk god's berserk is one of the most overpowered unit with his extremely strong full aoe and overall one of the best ground unit and as well as he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies at later upgrades in this update 15.5 let's go god's berserk stats are max upgrade and max level r 326,850 damage with this spa at 12 seconds making his damage per second at 27,237.5 which is insanely strong especially guts is a full aoe and will be able to hit air enemies at later upgrades guts also does an addition of 25 percent bleeding in four ticks which is the best pick you can have on a bleeding unit how to evolve guts to guts berserk is by defeating the brand new eclipse portal which can be obtained through the win him infinite mode which is incredibly easy especially the map is huge so you can place further back if you are playing solo Guts Berserk's damage types are physical and fire. Okay, next unit is Stain Hero Slayer, who is one of the best DPS ground unit, as the ability that he will get at later upgrades is extremely strong. Stain Hero Slayer stats are max upgrade and max level R, 91,870 damage with his SPA at 5.6 seconds, making his damage per second at 16,405.35. Oh my goodness, which is insanely strong. How Stain Slayer Hero works with this ability is whenever Blood Curdle is activated, Stain's damage will deal three times more damage to every bleeding enemy inside his range. The ability can crit 4.5 Stain's current damage, as well as it stuns enemies for two seconds. This ability is not a global ability, which technically, you can spam the ability. Sheesh! There is a 10 seconds cooldown on enemies who have been affected by the ability, and the ability cooldown is 20 seconds. Stain Hero Slayer will be extremely good when pairing with bleeding units, especially Guts Berserk, who is one of the most overpowered unit in this update 15.5, where he will be able to hit air enemies at later upgrades, Making Stain Hero Slayer the best 
to pair with Guts Berserk, especially when Blood Curdle is activated, as it will attack every enemies that are bleeding. And Hero Slayer's damage types are physical and dark. Alright, next unit is Griffith Ascension. Griffith is the most overpowered unit and even better than Dio Over Heaven himself, with Griffith's extremely strong passive in this update 15.5. Griffith's Ascension stats are max upgrade and max level are 20,711 damage with his SPA at 6.3 seconds making his damage per second at 3,287.46. You might be wondering, hmm, why does he have such a low stat? Well, it is because you have to sacrifice units. If you sacrifice buff units, Griffith will turn into Griffith Reincarnation where it will buff your units by 100% and you can stack your buff with Griffith Reincarnation which is incredibly overpowered which you can be used which can be used in the brand new tournament in this update 15.5 if you sacrifice mythic secret legendary epic rare units Griffith Ascension will become a full AoE DPS which is the most overpowered unit in anime adventures even better than Dio over heaven which is insanely strong do keep in mind that Griffith doesn't have a cap, making it insanely strong. So I definitely recommend trying to get your Griffith's damage to 300 plus damage before he transforms. Because it will be broken for Griffith to have such an insane amount of damage with him being a full AoE and multi-hit, which will be great against shield enemies. Griffith's buff is based on the cost of the unit, which if you have maxed out the units, it will give more percentage of the damage or buff before Griffith's transform all right next unit is flamingo awaken flamingo is still one of the best magic ground unit with him being one of the highest damage per second unit in this update 15.5 flamingo awaken stats are max upgrade and max level are 336,140 damage with his spa at 7.5 seconds making his damage per second at 44 1818.66 which is incredibly overpowered despite of him not being able to hit air enemies flamingo is still extremely overpowered for a ground unit like boy how to get flamingo awakened is by defeating the puppet island birch cage the puppet master where the host will be guaranteed to get the unit where the other players will have a slight chance to get the secret portal is by defeating the normal puppet portal which can be obtained through the puppet island infinite mode Pog. All right, next unit is Lao Room. Law is still one of the best ground and support unit in this update 15.5. Law is also extremely overpowered to bring in Infinity Castle, not only because his ability, but how surprisingly cheap he is to max upgrade, which will be useful in Infinity Castle leaderboard runs and many, many more. Law Room stats are max upgrade and max level R. 150,141 damage with his SPA at 5.9 seconds, making his damage per second at 25,447.62, which is insanely good for a support unit as he has an ability on placement called Shamble, where when activated, the enemies will be teleported back, which is insanely strong, and he is a better Lulu Gias, and that means Low Room will be valuable in Infinity Castle and leaderboard runs with his Shamble ability. The Shamble ability affects air, ground, enemies, and bosses, which is insanely good. Low Room is incredibly easy to evolve as you just have to continuously defeat the Puppet Portal, which are easy to defeat even if you are soloing the portal. The best trait you can have on Low Room is unique as he is a 3 placement and alternative traits you can have on him is Sniper, so he will be able to teleport back more enemies with his huge range. Low Room's damage types are Magic and Aqua. Okay, next unit is Luffy Ooh. Gear 4. Luffy is one of the best ground units to have, especially he is cheap to max upgrade and at later upgrades, he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies in this update 15.5. Luffy Gear 4 stats are max upgrade and max level R, 205,719 damage with his SPA at 6.4 seconds, making his damage per second at 32,143.59, which is incredibly overpowered, as you can place 4 of Luffy Gear 4. 
Luffy Gear 4, at later upgrades, he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies, which is insanely strong. Although, he is no longer a multi-hit at his last ability, so he will struggle against shield enemies. Luffy Gear 4 is incredibly easy to evolve as you just have to continuously defeat the puppet portal, which are easy to defeat if, if, even if you are soloing the portal. The best trait you can have on Luffy Gear 4 is Divine as he is a 4 placement, although if you are going to be using Luffy Gear 4 in Infinity Castle, then the best trait you can have on him is Unique. Which Luffy is insanely strong for Infinity Castle and how cheap he is to max upgrade. Luffy Gear 4's damage types are Physical and Fire, 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 fire. Alright, next unit is Tango God of Flashiness. Tengen is still one of the best physical ground units in this update 15.5. Since at later upgrades, he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies, which is insanely over power. Tango God of Flashiness stats at max level and max upgrade are 224,526 damage with his SPA at 11 seconds, making his damage per second at... 20,411.45, which is incredibly good, especially with his full AoE, although his range is a very, very bad. Despite of Tengen having such a terrible range, the unit itself is still very strong, especially at later upgrades, he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies, as well as having the nail relic equipped on Tango God of Flashiness will be the best relic to have equipped. Tango God of Flashiness damage types are physical and rose. Rose. Hog. Okay, next unit is Pride the One. Eskinor is one of the best ground unit in this update 15.5 with his insane late game stats. With Eskinor having one of the biggest full AOE circle and having a low SPA cooldown and an overpower damage per second. Pride the One stats are max upgrade and max level R. 57,525.41 damage, following his SPA at 6.5 seconds, making his damage per second at 8,850. But with Sunshine Passive Max, his new damage per second is 19,921. At later upgrades, he will become a hybrid unit, making him attack both air and ground enemies. I suggest placing Pride the One as soon as possible as he buffs himself permanently from placement from or 15 waves the best trait you can have on pride the one is unique and alternative traits you can have on him is double sniper or divine pride the one's damage types are physical and fire i only recommend to bring pride the one in waves that are 20 or longer all right next unit is poseidon tyrant of the seas which is one of the newest units added in this update 15.5 poseidon is one of the best ground unit with his full aoe and will be able to hit both air and ground enemies at later upgrades. Poseidon Tyrant of the Sea stats a max upgrade and max level R, 339,342 damage with his SPA at 9.1 seconds, making his damage per second at 37,290.32, which is one of the best damage per second, especially he is a multi hit, which he will do well against shield enemies she 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 very pog how to get poseidon tyrant of the sea is by defeating the new secret tyrant of the sea secret portal which you can obtain through defeating the brand new summer portal poseidon damage types are physical and aqua that was everything for this video on the top 10 best ground units in update 15.5 i hope this video helped you in some sort of way remember to subscribe and like and i will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.